for this month's science challenge, we're seeing if things can sink or float. We're playing with buoyancy. I'm going to be testing a few objects to see if they sink or float. First up, a ping pong ball. I need to record my prediction of whether I think it will sink or float in my data table. Next, I'll test a wood block. Just like I did with the ping pong ball, I can record my prediction of whether I think the wood block will float or sink. Next, I'll test a rubber eraser. They have sort of a flat shape, even though they're kind of heavy, so I think the rubber eraser might float. Finally, I'm testing a toy dinosaur. The plastic of this toy dinosaur is sort of heavy, so I think it's going to sink. Now that I've made all my predictions, I can go ahead and start my experiment. First, the ping pong ball. Looks like it floats. Now I can add my results and some observations to my data table. Ping pong balls are light and airy, so it definitely floated on the top of the water. Now the wood block. The wood block did float, just not right at the top like the ping pong ball. Next, the rubber eraser. Even though the eraser is flat, kind of like a raft or a boat, it was still too heavy and sank to the bottom. So in this case, my prediction was incorrect. Finally, let's test the toy dinosaur. Just like I predicted, the plastic of the toy is sort of heavy, and that's why it sunk to the bottom. Now let's try a tougher challenge. Some objects float, some objects sink. But there are other things like fish and scuba divers that hover somewhere in the middle. Let's see if we can make our own diver. For the base of my diver, I'm using a plastic egg that does float at the top of the water. Maybe if I try to fill my egg diver with something heavy like this dice, it won't float at the top anymore. Nope, it looks like the diver is still too light and wants to float at the top. Let's try filling it with something heavier, like these magnets. Now my diver is 50% magnet, 50% dice. And my diver is still too light. It does sink a little bit more than the first time though. Let's try something even heavier. How about these metal nuts? Now my diver is 75% magnet, 25% metal. Oh, it looked like it was gonna sink, but it still floats. Now let's do 50% metal, 50% magnet. And now that one's too heavy. Submarines, divers, fish, and other animals that live in the water have special structures that help them swim around at neutral buoyancy. It sure is tough to make it on our own. Check out our website for the full challenge instructions and to learn why some things sink, some things float, and some things hover somewhere in the middle.